thin place, as you know yourself, is a fairly loose term for um, a place that would allow people to make a connection. It could be uh, a place between the earth and the vaults and the skies. It could be a place between the earth and the other world. It's a place where the deities and the people of the other world at special times of the year can make their way through into our realm. But also, at that same time, it's an opportunity for us to travel to the other world. And it's a time where you can make a direct connection with, with the people of the sheep, the, uh, the people of the, the mounds, with the ancestors. There are a few people, a few special people, who have the ability to do this wherever. For the majority of us, it's a place, or it's an opportunity, a thin place is an opportunity to be able to make that connection in a certain geographical location. Um, here in Ireland, we have so many thin places. We have countless thin places. Um, the, uh, the specific one that I was always mentioning to people is Owl the Gat, the Cave of the Cats. Um, here on Rath Crahan. It's known as the entrance to Mother Earth, it's known as the entrance to the other world, and that really would be, um, let's call it an Axis Mundi, which is a pivotal point between our world and, and the other world. So, just to sum it up, a thin place is a place where you can make a connection, um, and for a lot of the time, it has to be or sorry, it doesn't have to be, but it is in a specific geographical location. Like say here, the Cave of the Cats, it could be Keshkaran over in Sligo. It might be um, Crikey, it could be Ontara, it might be Ushnuk. It might be one of the four royal capitals. It's a different place for different people. So what I would say to people out there is if they go looking for a thin place, you might find it on a map. You might just find it in your own personal space, wherever you do ritual or wherever you work. <laughs>